Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do another forest scene. I got some oil or some acrylic down here. This is going to be oil over acrylic. And I do this because I got my first coat of paint put down. And it makes it a little easier to put the oil on. Um, just don't forget, if you like this painting and you want to see more, like and subscribe. Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start right here in the background. I have my little iPad out. got the picture that I want to paint that's on it. Today, it doesn't look like these leaves are really dark. They're kind of light. I'll put a little, I will put a little blue in here because it just needs it. Especially in this upper, upper outer corner. But yeah, it, it helps when you got when you put the acrylic down before you oil paint, because I got everything laid out. See, I got all my trees where I want them. I don't have to take oil and put it over oil. Because that just makes a sloppy mess pretty much. I'm just kind of throwing throwing some uh, leaves in here, here and there. This is very leafy, if that's a word. It's gonna be today. We're going to use that word leafy today. And that's what this is back in here. Let me look down here at my picture. This takes a while to do, that's for sure. But if it turns out good, it was worth it, wasn't it? And that's what we're going to try to do. Try to get it to turn out the way we want it. That's probably about all the blue I want. Put some yellow in here. Brighten it up a little bit. We don't want it too dark back in here. This is just a lot of foliage. I'll keep doing this for a while and I'll come back to you. Okay, I got some of my tree or some of the uh, some of the leaves put in where I want them. I'm gonna make me a little pile over here. I'm gonna get my first layer of paint on these trees. Um, let's see, where do I want to start? The sun is kind of coming in like this. The, the front side of these trees are pretty lit up, especially on the left side. So that's what we got to do. I'll try to stay out of some of this green. See, I got a little blue in the trees, okay. I had a little blue. That's perfectly fine. I put blue on the trees anyway. I'm just going to i going to scrub some of this in. Since we got so many trees, I'm going to make like an assembly line. I'm going to hit every one of them with this same collar. And then I'm going to come back and use some different collars on it. To keep from getting my brush all messed up, I'm just going to hit them all like this for now. Let's get this one right here. This is burnt umber, some white, and a little ochre right here is what I got. I'm just trying to... Ooh, there's a lot of green here. Better watch out for that, huh? That's all right. Keep on a going, keep on chugging. Kind of spin my brush as I'm coming down. Keep some, keep the paint on the trees. Unload some of this paint because I got a lot of paint on my brush. Let's get some more. And just 
just keep right on and working. Just come on down. Let's get this in right here. Let's get some more paint. And I'm mainly putting it on this on the left side of the trees because that's where most of the light is coming from on the left side. Just takes a little time. Painting is supposed to be relaxing anyway. So just take your time. Don't get in no hurry. No reason to rush. I'm just going to keep doing this for a while. Okay, I've been working on my trees a little bit, working on my grass a little bit. I've got to go back and work on the rest, work on it some more. But I'm getting my first coat of paint down on the canvas, oil paint. This is still dry, so I'm going to start working on my road right here. Um, it looks like the road has a little little see it burnt sienna in it i got my picture down there i'm looking at so that's what i'm working on right now i'm just trying to randomly grab some collars throw them in here and there and work our way down i like burnt sienna it's a i like the collar it's got a nice color to it. Let's take a ochre. Let's see what ochre will do. Not too much. Just yeah, maybe we won't. I don't know if I want that in there or not. A little brown toward the bottom. It's gonna get dark as we come forward. Got a little brown and sienna now mixed in. A little burnt umber. Burnt sienna. Everything's burnt. And we just keep working our way down. Like I said, it's darker here at the bottom. Darker than there. And it's closest. Closest to us. Have to go over all this again. But I think this is a pretty good start. And it's not a bad start. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna work on my trees a little more. I've been working on my road. I'm going to start putting some highlight on the left side of these trees. Cause we're going to have leaves crossing some of these trees. So let me go ahead and I like these nice bright highlight. Nice and bright so you know exactly where the sun is hitting. No questions asked. You know exactly. Come down here. As I said before, these trees have a, there's a lot of light shining on them. These, there's more light shining on the face of them than what I would, what I normally do. Let me try this. All the way down to there. I'm getting a few of these big ones while you're watching because these smaller ones I'm gonna have to use two hands I have to steady myself because it's hard to keep this brush straight sometimes I don't want my white going all over the place bet I'll 
a little. I think I catch myself holding my breath sometimes when I'm doing this. I'm not sure why. I guess I'm trying to be too precise with it. Give me a paper towel here. I'll just keep on going down this tree. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to be super precise. Just try to do the best you can do. That's a big tree right here. It might take a few minutes to finish. Let's catch it right here. Catch this one right here. This one here. Wipe your brush off a little. You're picking up the collars that are underneath. I just did these trees a little while ago, if you remember. Just keep right on a going here. Let's do one more real quick. I'm on a roll now, I don't want to stop. Okay. While, while I'm doing these trees here, I want to show you guys something. A lot of times when you're doing trees, if you twist and kind of roll your brush down the tree, it helps create texture sometimes. Let me use this one right here, for example. I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm just kind of touching and just kind of rolling, just randomly. I'm using white right here. I'm just using a little bit at a time because I don't want it to stand out a whole lot. See I'm twisting my brush as I'm coming down. See I'm going to have a highlight on the back of these trees too. I guess see that's one way you can get some texture on your tree. I mean you just gotta I'm twisting just like that. As I'm coming down, you wipe it off. You gotta wipe your brush off on occasion if you're using the white. See how I mean I can see I hope you can see it. But it's it's leaving some pretty good texture on it. I know that you could use a palette knife too, but if you didn't want to do that, I, I don't do it all the time. I have done it, and sometimes I will, but I don't always do that on trees. Here's a, here's a big fat tree. This might you might be able to see this better. Now I'm doing this because these trees have a lot of light on the front of them. The light is kind of smacking them in the face on the left side. Twisting and rolling. And I'm gonna probably put some Prussian blue on the back side of these trees. I like I like to use that. Prussian blue on the back side. Keep it nice and dark. Okay. I just want to show you guys this. I was doing this and I thought, man, this would be something good to show everybody if they don't know how to do it. I mean there's a there's a million ways to do things. I don't always do it like this, but today I am. I just want you to see it. 
Now I'm not really getting any white. These trees are skinny. I'm not putting any white on here. I'm just going for a little texture. I'm just rolling my brush down this. One here. It gets rid of these straight lines that I put on there when I was putting this white on. Gets rid of them straight lines. Makes it look a lot more natural, I mean, I think. There's one right here. Just rolling it down. Here we go. Now I've just got to work on the back side. I'm going to put a big knot right here in this tree. Okay, I've been working on my trees as you can see. I got some leaves up here. I'm gonna put a nice pink tree right here just to break everything up. I got some, that's a lizard and crimson I got on there now. I'm gonna put some um, cad red light on here on top of that. This will be my mid tone. My canvas is pretty wet, so we'll we'll try to get this to stick on here. I think this painting's turning out pretty good. I, I like this tree right here. It's different looking. Different's good. And we're just gonna keep doing this. So we get the desired result. It may take us a little bit, but we'll get it. Yeah, this tree here should just kind of, hopefully it stands out. and makes it look a little different. I'll put a few leaves on the ground here. Put a few floaters. Let's see if we can, just some different colors. Keep working on this. Be back in a second. Well, it looks like we're finished. I hope you enjoyed this painting. I enjoyed doing it for you. Uh, don't forget to like it and subscribe. And I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Thanks.